Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And I feel like it's been a while since the last video, but we finished spending a bunch of time training the best skill in the game, Runecrafting, to 77, so that way we'll never, ever, ever, ever have to go back to ZMI or Arania ever again, and that way we can just AFK Zay Runecrafting all the way to 99 eventually once we uh, decide to go for it. Getting 77 Runecrafting was definitely one of the more tedious things for me to do in the game, but now that that's out of the way, eventually we'll just have to spend like a month straight of runecrafting at Zaya, I guess, which I really don't want to think about, but it's still just as slow of a skill, just way less effort now. But with that being said, let's get into today's video, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, we're currently making House Teletab, so that way, when we're on a different spellbook, like we are now, we can teleport to the house. And a long time ago, I made a bunch of like Varrock and Falador and Ardoin tabs, but I think eventually I'll just end up making all the house portals in the house, so that way I don't have to make teletabs for like every single each different location, and we just make the house teletabs and use the portals. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be all the tabs for now. Got like over 1200 tabs, hopefully that should last a very, very long time. And now let's go to the bank, and I want to show you something. Okay, so as you probably know, as I mentioned in the past before, we do 10 Zora kills per day, and if we go to our gear tab, if we go down here, we're almost out of Diamond Bolt E, which is what we use. Probably go through like 50 or 60 bolts per day. So we're going to go back to Tazar City and uh, buy a bunch of diamonds and make a bunch more of those. Uh, we have a lot of cast rooms we could sell for Tackle, and the current stack of Tackle we have right now is 7.8k, so we definitely need some more Tackle. And yeah, we're going to stock up on those. And we do still have 2.8k regular adamant bolts, so that is plenty. Uh, we're also going to switch spell books too before we go back. Hey, remember before when I said I'd never have to use pure essence ever again? I lied. Don't want to waste any XP? Get as much XP as possible when switching spell books. I can't tell you how many times I've come here to switch spell books and like made the essence and then just teleport out without actually switching the spell books, but I'm actually switching this time, for real. Uh, the reason why I'm switching is so we can use the enchant bolts. Yeah, that one. Alright, we got our Karamja gloves on, which will reduce the cost of buying items. It also increases the amount of tackle you get when selling items to shops. So let's uh, sell off a bunch of these chaos rooms we have in here, which go for 9 tackle each. After you go through a lot, it's, I think 9 is the lowest it goes, yeah. So we'll get 9 for each of these. This is bringing back flashbacks of buying the, uh, the O word. The word that we don't say around here, the O word. But I think it should be enough tackle for now. Dude! Look how many chaos rooms are in the shop. That's wow. I assume they get reset whenever the servers go through like the Thursday updates or something, but damn. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it mocking me in the face. You know, people said that I should cut it into the onyx bolt tips as a prank, but why would I do that when I could just buy them from the shop here or just fish them from the lava fishing spot right over here? Finally, now enchanting the last of the diamond bolts and to diamond bolts E. And we have like almost 1,800 now, so that should last a while. Uh, combined with the ones in the bank, that's almost 2,000, like 1,900 or something. Okay, currently doing a bit of fletching because I want to get money and I want to alk a bunch of these U-Long bows. You can see we have a pretty high amount of them. We're almost done with the amount of unstrung bows that we have, uh, just finishing up stringing these. I definitely want to alk them afterwards. I probably won't alk all of them because that's like 9 or 10 hours worth of straight up alking. But I do want to alk a lot of them because I want money. And I want money to train construction because if we take a look at the cash stack right now, we'll uh, pause this very fast. Look at the cash stack. That's our whole cash stack. We're going to need uh, probably at least a couple mil to train construction for the uh, demon butler. We have all the planks already, but we're going to need money. I could alk some things, like we have all these dragon halberds, but I'd rather save them because I just want to see like how many we can get before we get a blowpipe. Uh, yeah, it's, it's building up. I've got four mil worth of dragon halberds right now. But yeah, let's finish making all these uh, unstrung longbows into strung longbows. I was thinking of doing one of two things with uh, these alks that we have now. I was thinking one, we could do agility and be uh, macro efficient and get some agility XP at the same time. Of course, it would be slower to alk them, but you know, for the sake of efficiency, we'll probably do that. Or we could go to underwater and just AFK and chill and collect seaweed spores, which I do kind of want to get the spores too, but there are more efficient ways to do it, getting spores. I think lobstrosities are a pretty good way, but not too worried about that. I think we're just going to do agility, so let's go... Um, Take out all these bows now. We have 10,000 of these bows. We have a bunch of these uh, nature runes too. Actually, before we do this, we gotta do a birdhouse run. And during this birdhouse run, yeah. Also, for training fletching, I feel like Sears Village Bank is just the proper place to train fletching. I don't know why, but whenever I think of fletching, I always associate it with uh, Sears Village Bank. I've done no hunter training with herbivores or chins or anything else. This is all strictly through uh, doing birdhouse runs, all the way from 95 to 96. 
strictly birdhouse runs. I think it's been a few weeks, maybe a month now, but I think I think I said this last time. I think we can get 99 Hunter just solely through doing birdhouse runs. I don't think we'll ever have to train Hunter ever again. I mean, it would be nice to get herbs from herbivores and stuff, or maybe chins for ranging at some point, but I don't think it's really necessary. So I think it'll just be like a passive skill that we get from now on. And we are a mill to level, so if we do the quick maps, it's like 900... Actually, you know what? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> it's a lot of birdhouses. Okay, so here's what we got going on here. We got all these nature runes here. Uh, I think a lot of them are from ZMI. You do craft a lot of runes here. It's actually a decent money-making method. Not decent, but like you do make some money there. And uh, we got a lot of nature runes from that. And we also had a lot of nature runes from before from doing Slayer also. But yeah, we got heaps of nature runes here. Here's all the U longbows. I'm gonna go to the uh, Fremnit course because I don't care so much about the X band. It's a little bit slower than doing the Sears course. I prefer the Marks of Grace anyways because I'd love to have more Amlace. You know, I gotta get the Herbler up at some point and get a lot of Staminas, which we probably have heaps of Staminas. And I've mentioned it before, but I don't think we'll ever actually go through all the Staminas that we have right now. But I guess it'd still be cool to have the Staminas and for the Herbler XP as well. I don't mind too much about missing out on like 2 or 3k XP per hour. It does take a bit of time to get used to the Alking, like getting the, uh, the timing right for it, knowing when to Alk, where to Alk for each specific course. But once you get down, it's not too bad to do. I've never actually alked and done agility at the same time. In the past, when I've done it before, it's been with darts, so this is pretty new to me, but it's not too bad. In a little bit, I'll be showing you the rates of the XP I've been getting in just a few minutes here. Oh no, RIP to the 10k you longbow stack. You'll be missed. Okay, we're just finishing up a half hour test right now. Just want to show you the XP rates that we're getting. So if we move this on over, Averaging about 43k agility XP per hour as well as 35k magic XP per hour. The magic XP isn't really the main reason why we're here, nor is the agility XP. I mean, of course it's good, it's a very important reason to be here, but it's mostly for the money. So we got uh, 220k in this half hour, so we probably expect to get around just over 400k per hour from uh, the U longbows that we have. You can see we didn't really alk that many either, just a few hundred of them. So if we did stay here for like just training agility and alking, we'd be able to stay here a very, very long time with uh, the amount of alks that we have left right now. But we're coming up on a agility level very soon, just over an hour left of this. Still more agility XP per hour than runecrafting though. Yay, Dragon Halberd, yes. Last kill for today. Can we get lucky? Probably not, but there's always tomorrow. Feels great, man. Oh, it's Spiritsy, I love it. That's what I love to see. 82 agility. The first agility level in a very long time. I don't know if we'll actually stick here for 83 because that's like a lot of hours. It's like 40k per hour times like, I don't want to do the math. That's a lot of hours left. I don't know if we'll actually stick through, but 20, 25 total. Apparently it's a milestone. Here's uh, the amount of bows we got left. So we're going to keep on doing it till I get burnt, I guess. I feel like I always say that with runecrafting. I'm like, yeah, I'll just do it till I get burnt. And I went all the way through, but we'll see what happens with this. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, so I just pulled the biggest forehead. I was gonna come down here and just like chill and alk for a bit, but uh, you actually can't equip weapons while you're down here. So I guess we could bring runes. I'm not trying to waste like tens of thousands of fire runes to alk down here. So, so much for that idea. We'll uh, get some seaweed spores some other way. I guess if I got some bolts or some headless arrows or something, I could uh, use those down here. But I don't have any right now. So, so much for that. Dude, it's like 4 a.m. right now, and I'm up here watching Bob Ross yeah, and AFK woodcutting, oh, and like, dude, very soft. If I was uh, if I was drunk right now, I would legit be crying. Like, and we'll take a little bit of blue and white. Uh, he's so Just good. I don't know his shack. voice, what he does. Right Too much detail <laughs> over that illusion of distance. Dude, if you haven't watched Bob Ross, I would highly, Just highly recommend know. it. I'm currently AFKing some runecrafting in Zaya while I'm working on a video right now. And dude, this is the very first time we're going to be crafting blood runes on this account. I mean, I guess we did technically make blood runes uh, at ZMI, but this is the first time doing Zaya runecrafting on this account. The last time I ever did runecrafting on Zaya was like freaking a year ago on my other account when I was going for 99. So this is like, it's bringing back memories for me. This is so, so much nicer than doing ZMI or doing lava runes. Like, look at that XP drop. It's like 5k XP per inventory, which is freaking amazing. If I was doing ZMI, that'd be like seven trips right there. But with this, one trip is, yeah, very nice. All AFK, pretty much. And then here's that second XP drop. Ah, oh, beautiful. We're also getting a little bit of crafting and a little bit of mining XP as well, which uh, I don't think it's going to add to that much, but we might get a mining level here at some point. We're getting mining level soon, depending on how long we stay here. Yo, so we're coming up on one hour of uh, runecrafting AFK. It probably could have fit in one more trip in this hour. Um, but yeah, here's the XP rates, because you're probably curious. Now remember, again, I am editing a video. So it's not efficient rates, but 
There it is. We got like 30k XP in this hour. And the crafting and mining XP is going to add up too. We're also probably curious about the blood runes worth value that we crafted. So here's one hour. 324k worth. But obviously to me that means nothing. It's a hardcore Iron Man by the way. But it's still a lot of blood runes that we can use for spells and stuff at some point. Okay, every day I am doing 10 kills, as you know, and here is 1100 KC coming in. That's a pretty good time for me too, but still doing the uh, 10 kills at the start of every stream. One of these days, we're going to get lucky. Here's the easy casket we got from Birdhouses. Let's open up, see if we get some sick fashionscape today. <laughs> oh, amazing fashionscape we got here. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop this because I don't want to catch Salmonella. All right, after a lot a lot of the more hours of grinding out the best skill in the game, part two. Here is 83 agility. I've got a new shortcut that I don't even want to think about right now. Here's the amount of bows we have left. I'm still not sure if I'm going to stick all the way through with uh, all these U long bows. I'm going to keep on trying as much as possible, but this is what we have left. Yo, what the heck, dude? There's a dragon impling. Oh, that's what I love to see. Oh, no way. Going to check the teak trees. I've got a lucky impling here. Oh no, <laughs> hold up, come on. <gasps> no, no. This is legit like the saddest day of my life. Ah, no magic butterfly net. No 99 hunter. I'm crying right now. I think that dude's looking for it too. No fucking way. <gasps> what the hell? What the hell, dude? No, <laughs> I was not expecting this whatsoever oh my god it's the cutest thing hello <laughs> he's so cute i still haven't named the chompy chick and now we have to uh come up with a name for the squirrel too so i'll come up with something man i'm i'm seriously in shock right now <laughs> oh my gosh it's so cute i now officially have more pets on this account than i do on my other account uh, I have three pets on the other account. I have the KBD pet, I have the thieving pet, and I have the woodcutting pet. And now in this account, I'm sure you know what pets we have in here. This is the fourth pet now. Here we go, coming up on 11-11. Time to make a wish. You know what we're wishing for. Flax. <laughs> I mean, I called it, right? My, <laughs> my wish came true, huh? <laughs> I love this game so much. It's great banter, it really is. Here we go, jumping down the ledge. For the very last time, as level 83. Uh, oh. No! Okay, now we are finally getting level 84 agility. The first level, which feels like forever, but for you guys, hasn't been that long. Um, here's how many bows we got left. We still got a lot of uh, long bows left to go, so... Still uh, getting the stack down more and more. I think 85 will be a nice milestone. Either 85 agility or 93 magic, or maybe both would be nice to have before we uh, finish with here. But yeah, I have still been alking stuff. I'm just uh, not alking it during the clip because I'm not like that good at talking, doing all sorts of stuff at the same time, but still slowly working on uh, getting the stack of U longbows down to zero, or at least as low as possible. Um, before we move on, I think I said before, I forgot, it's been a couple days. Uh, we're gonna get 85 agility and get a magic level as well, and then we're gonna move on to construction. Hey, something I just noticed here, we hit a bit of a milestone. There's 130 mil XP coming in. I'm not sure if the 10 mil milestones are really like that cool, I guess, but it looks cool to see on the screen. The very last ALK for 93 magic. So yeah, we're gonna finish up getting 85 agility and then we'll wrap it up with this. We got like 20 minutes left to go, so I will see you back with 85 agility. Okay, this is finally gonna be it after we finish crossing the tightrope. 85 agility, that is such a nice clean level to have. Okay, so let's uh, go down here, go in the bank. We do still have like 1.6k U longbows left, but I'll show you in the bank. Uh, I actually have no idea what the cash stack is looking like. So we've out like eight, nine k of these uh, the U longbows. We started with 10.2k. Okay, so put everything in the bank. We have 6.8 mil stack. That's a pretty decent sized stack. And if we look in here, um, we still have a few thousand U longbows we can make for the future, so that'll be more alking for agility eventually. We could boost now for the RD course, which I'm not going to do. Maybe I'll do one lap for the diary at some point, which I do need to get the RD elite diary done for the 25% more marks of grace from the RD agility course before we actually get into agility there. So at the very latest, I'll go to 90 with agility and I'll stop there until we get all the requirements done for the RD elite. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the progress in this video with the agility gains, the magic gains, and uh, all the other random gains we made. 
But besides for that, that is going to wrap it up for today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I usually do a voiceover here, but this is live commentary. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you again. Crap, I can't see the face. Okay, let's go into this next time.